we have to reach from the start state to the goal state how we are going to reach from start state to the goal state that is nothing but implementing the a star algorithm if there are the successor if it is not empty then what we have to do else if selected node from the open list which has a smallest value f of n Welcome to the one more session on artificial intelligence and application. Today we are going to discuss unit two, session five for BCS students. That is problem solving by searching. Myself, Indu J, Faculty of Computer Science Departments, Vidyashram First Year College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. In this session, we are going to discuss one of most important searching technique that is informed searching called A star algorithm. So, what is A star algorithm? This is a most importantly and widely used algorithm for the searching techniques. A star search algorithm is one of the best and popular technique used to find the shortest path and the in the graph traversal. You you might have heard the problem called uh, traveling salesman, tic tac toe, or uh, tower of Hanoi. This type of problem solving we are using the. Algorithm called A star algorithm with the help of uh, for artificial intelligence. It's rely on the smart algorithm, which separates from the other convenient algorithm. We have a little bit of knowledge as it is informed search uh, technique. We have a knowledge or information, so it is a smart algorithm compared to the other previous algorithm what we have discussed. is finds the so shortest path through the search space using the heuristic function what we are using we are using a heuristic function here we have already discussed what is a heuristic function once again we'll uh, let know what heuristic function ex exactly does in further coming slides it uh, expand less search tree and provides a optimal result by implementing a star algorithm in the search technique we can extend the less search search time will be very less and we are going to get the optimal solution that's for show sure. this gives an optimality and confidence that we are going to get the optimal solution once we are using it take an example here in the grid what we have consider the square grid having a many obstructor whatever uh, that is appeared on the grid that is called as obstacle this is a start state this is a goal state we have to reach from the start state to the goal state how we are going to reach from start state to the goal state that is nothing but implementing the a star algorithm here obstacles we are given uh, a start cell and the target cell we want to reach the target cell from the start cell as quickly as possible here a star algorithm comes into rescue using a star algorithm because as it has a information prior knowledge it knows which all the blocks are already obstacles which all the squares is already blocked so it will search the square which is not blocked and it will move according to accordingly that how this can be done will when we go through with the algorithm we'll get to know how exactly is going to do this way next what we have is in the uh, a star algorithm at each step of the algorithm it picks the node according to the value f we have a value f we have to find the value of the node f which is a parameter equal to sum of two other parameter that is g plus h so how we are representing it we are representing the uh each node or we are calculating the each node here with g of n plus h of n now what is f of n f of n is a estimated cost of cheapest solution to find to reach from this node to this node what is the cost required that is called as f of n estimated cost to reach the goal state then what is g of n g is a actual cost from the start node from the start node to reach some intermediate node what is a cost that is called as actual cost 
then what is h of n h of n is nothing but the estimated cost from n to the goal node consider you are somewhere middle of this this uh, this is a current state current state this current from this current state to reach the goal what is the cost required that is given by the function h of n so each steps it picks the nodes as having the lowest f so after computing this for each cell we have to pick f of n such that the f of n value should be less compared to other nodes this is often referred as a heuristic search which is nothing but a kind of smart guess what do you meant by heuristic here a smart guess it is guessing the value or guessing how much time i need to reach the target that is how a star algorithm is going to work so let us understand this algorithm with an example here we have one graph each graph will be having the heuristic value whatever the node value we are giving that is considered the heuristic value and whatever the value we are giving at the arrow action taken that is uh, called as a a uh, cost to traverse from one node to the other node so as a uh, a star algorithm states f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n what is g of n g of n is a current state what is the cost required to move from one state to the other state and h of n is a value that is given how uh, what is the cost required to reach the goal state so here we can take the example initially we are in the start state we have to start our search from the start state so f of n would be f of yes would be what is a g of n what is a uh, cost that requires to reach the state s itself that is a zero right plus h of n is 14 so the function or value for the s state is 14 right now we have to move from one state to other state such that we should reach the goal state right to reach the goal state we have a two option that is either s can move towards b or s can move towards c right s can move towards b or s can move towards c so same function we are implementing f of b which node we are in we are calculating for the node b f of b is equal to g of b plus h of b what is the value of g of b that is to move from state s to b what is the value i'm having value is 4 and what is the heuristic value at the node b we have a heuristic value at the node b as 12 so what is the value of f of b is 4 plus 12 is 16 right so now compute for f of c we are moving from s to c if you move from s to t s to c what is g of c plus h of c right so what is g of c what is the cost to reach from s to c that is 3 3 plus what is a h of c value heuristic value at the c that is 11 so what is the value 3 plus 11 is 14 now you can see which function is minimal is f of b is minimal or f of c is minimal f of c is minimal right because 16 is greater than 14 so we have to find the minimum cost so we consider the next move as s c so what we are doing we are considering the next move from s to c we are moving from s to c now we have to calculate from c we are in the current state c from c where i look on where all we can reach which all the nodes we can reach we can reach to the e or we can reach to the f right so consider the situation where we are reaching to the e or s c we are reaching to the d okay clear now we have to calculate f of e so what is f of e g of e plus h of E. what is g of e value it has to travel from start state to the node e so what it is taken cost 3 to traverse to the c 
3 plus what is the cost it is taking to traverse from C to E that is 10. Together it will be provide the value of G of E and what is the heuristic value at the E that is 4 right. So by combining this what I am getting 13 plus 4 that is 17 right. I am getting the F of E value as 17. Now calculate F of D value. How to calculate F of D value? F of D is equal to G of D plus H of D. What is G of D value? G of D value is 3 plus how much cost it is required to traverse? 7. Right. 7 plus what is the heuristic value at the D? That is 6. So it will give you around 16. So 16 is a cost which is the lowest one here we have a lowest one as S, C and D. So now we have to consider what state S, C and D as a state to be traversed right. Yes, C and D state to be traversed. Now from the D where I am reaching I am reaching to the E only one position we are reaching so we should calculate only one position that is f of e here is equal to g of e plus h of e. So what I am getting here 3, 3 plus 7 plus from d to e it is 2 plus what is the heuristic value we have 4. So what I am getting 12 plus 4 that is 16 we are getting right so now after this we have a state yes c d and e so now e is reaching to what goal state so this is the shortest way where you can reach to the goal state that's how it's going to calculate and you find the shortest cost value or shortest path to reach the goal state hope all of you understood with this example let's see the algorithm what exactly algorithm says we should have a uh, initialize a two list one is a uh, called open list and one is called closed list Put the starting node onto the open list because the, our searching stats in the starting state. So put it that in the open state. Then check if the open list is empty or not. Whether we have a stat state or not. We have to check whether some successor for that particular node is there or not. If there is no successor, if that is empty, then return failure and stop the searching. Stop the execution. If if not, if there are the successor, if it is not empty, then what we have to do? Yes, if selected node from the open list which has a smallest value f of n, then what we have to find? We have to find f of n from that stat state, from the stat state, whether it is going to the C or whether it is going to the B, which is a shortest value we have for the f of n, we have to select that. If n is a goal node, then success and stop. If either of this is a goal node, we have to stop the iteration there and then and saying that we have found the goal. It is successful and we are going to stop. If not, n is not your goal state. What we have to do else expand the node n. So we are in, yes, we were in B, we were C. So we have four chosen yes and c extend the node n and generate all its possible successor c will be having one successor d and another successor e right so check with all possible successors and put n in closed list put this particular n in closed list for each successor n check whether n is already in the open or closed list whether this successors are in open or closed list we have to check if not then compute the computation function for, for these two values that is n and place that into the open list we have to find the cost f of n for c to d and f of n from c to e right so we have to find this 
if n already is in open or closed list then should be attached to back the pointer which reflect the lowest value if already computed f of n for these things then we should take a smallest smallest value or the lowest value lowest value for f of n this has to be repeated until unless we reach the goal state until unless when we reach the goal state so you are going to find the path for which you are going to address as the goal state within the short time or within the short cost so that's all about the a star algorithm thank you